This is the ultimate blind test of Pixel 7 versus Pixel 7a. We will talk about the differences, the similarities, and who is the overall winner. Let's go to work. Look, in my line, I get ready. Feel it too trippy, get it cracking like a levy. I'ma show them all how to party with the levy. Keep the countdown and release the confetti. Let's start with the video test using the main sensor 4K 30 FPS. I mean, almost the same look. I think the colors of the sky is more pronounced on the right, but there's more details on the shadows on the grass looking at the left video. Let's check the colors on a blind test. I don't know if you spot any difference, but Pixel 7 is on the left, while Pixel 7a is on the right. Let's talk about the difference in camera sensors. The Pixel 7 is using Samsung's ISOCELL GN1, while Pixel 7a is using Sony IMX787. Samsung ISOCELL GN1 is a 50 megapixel sensor with 1 over 1.31 inch sensor, and Sony IMX787 is a 64 megapixel with a smaller 1.1.73 inch sensor. Personally, I think the saturation of the colors are almost the same because of the HDR shot using the computational photography of Google. Honestly, the colors are too close, but if you ever wonder, Pixel 7a is on the left. The flagship Pixel 7 was released October of last year, while Pixel 7a was released May of this year. Now let's talk about the video stabilization. I will show it one by one and then side by side for you to see the video quality of these two phones. If you are pixel peeping this video on a bigger screen, which do you think is better? This is the ultra wide test 4K 30 FPS. And the flagship Pixel 7 is on the left. Now let's check the main sensor. Here you can see the difference because the video on the right is shaky. This is main sensor 4K 30 FPS. Google Pixel 7 has gyro EIS and OIS, while the cheaper Pixel 7a only has OIS. In terms of audio performance, you will be happy on any of these two phones. Both of them have speech enhancement for Pixel 7 and Pixel 7a. We will test both phones. Check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. This is the audio that's coming out of Pixel 7. And check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. This is the audio that's coming out of Pixel 7a. They have the same design and build quality, although the material used on Pixel 7 is more premium than 7a. Pixel 7 is using Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, while Pixel 7a is using the older Gorilla Glass 3. Although for the protection standpoint, both will do very well. They both have water and dust resistance, but Pixel 7a has IP68, while Pixel 7a only has IP67. If you let me down. Now we're checking the flaring dynamic range and highlights. Now, riding out the ebbs and the flows. I've been waving high to the lows. If you let me down, make sure that you lift me up now. Cause everything is up now. Riding out the ebbs and the flows. I've been waving high to the lows. Watch out now. Riding waves like the sunny days in. Inspecting it side by side, flaring and highlights are almost the same for these two phones. I mean this is the strength of Pixel 7 and Pixel 7a. I think the only difference in terms of brightness is the dynamic range because Pixel 7 exposes the scene better. For my visit to the pale moon, then I really live in there just tripping where the trails grow. This is sharpness and details test and I hope you're looking on a bigger screen for you to see the difference. 
Been in the field, got that feel from the drum field. I don't gotta chill, my pen move a auto fill. Automated thoughts process, my mind's recess. I just dig the gems for the thesis, the missing pieces. We're always found in the places where you least expect them. And although Pixel 7 only has 50 megapixel and Pixel 7a has 64 megapixel, but in reality, these two phones only output 12.5 megapixel photo. Resolution is not everything on a smartphone, and I think you wouldn't know the difference between the two, honestly. Just a difference in colors. Pixel 7 is brighter than 7a. There's also a big difference between these two phones, although they look similar on the outside. Pixel 7 has better features. To begin with, the screen is bigger with 6.3 inch AMOLED technology as opposed to a regular 6.1 inch OLED. And the brightness is also better on Pixel 7, 1400 nits versus 1000 nits. And while Pixel 7a has a bigger battery, the Pixel 7 has better battery life on my personal test. We will do a battery test of these two phones, so don't forget to subscribe. This is Google Pixel 7a in Full HD 30 FPS. Sadly, there's no cinematic mode for this mid-range phone. And this is the cinematic video and cinematic mode on Pixel 7. And as you can see, there's a background blur. It can only shoot Full HD 30 FPS, but I think it's pretty good. This is the slow motion and super slow motion test. Pierre, think I'm Saint Germain. I think all of us will agree that side by side, you will see that there's more details on Pixel 7. Riding out the ebbs and the flows, I've been waving high to the lows. This is the selfie video recording 4K 30fps on 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Who do you think is better? Before I reveal the phones, let's jump to the portrait mode. Phones look the same in terms of selfie video and portrait mode. The background on Pixel 7 is a little bit punched in compared to Pixel 7, and sometimes bokeh is a hit or miss on the cheaper Pixel 7a. Also, the background blur on Pixel 7 is creamier than Pixel 7a, but I think the water do of these two phones is the subject separation. They tend to miss a lot, especially the cheaper Pixel 7a. Night shot is also pretty close. I mean, they're not the best phones to shoot night shots now, but both phones are pretty good in terms of shooting natural looking night shots. I just like the warmer and more saturated look of Pixel 7a, but I like the sharper look of Pixel 7 because of the bigger sensor that compensates for the shutter speed. And lastly, the low light video test 4K 30 FPS and side by side, I think it's a dead giveaway that ISOCELL GN1 sensor is better than IMX 787. I did my research and Samsung sensor is being used by flagship phones, while Sony's sensor is being used by mid range Chinese phones. So, this is the blind test and ultimate camera test of Pixel 7 versus Pixel 7a. There's a slight difference in price, Pixel 7a being the newer and more affordable handset than the older but more premium Pixel 7. If you're looking for the best possible mid-range phone, crossing over to a flagship, Pixel 7 is a really good device for what it's worth. It will give you all the essentials and practically if you're not pixel peeping and comparing photos and videos, the image quality you would get on Pixel 7a is the same as any other Pixel phones. But if you add few more hundred dollars, you may be able to get a good deal on Pixel 7. And if you buy it used, it might cost you the same as Pixel 7a. Again, although older, it offers a more premium experience from the build quality, better battery life, bigger and brighter screen, and just a step up on the camera performance. And if you need a feature like the cinematic video, overall, you can't go wrong with any of these phones. But I think, I think the pricier and older Pixel 7 is superior. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.